so now I'm off to Dubai. Just hopped on the bus, getting to the main bus station. And then about two hours, we'll get there. I'm liking the heat almost. It's a big change to the cold. I think I'm going to be over it by the end of the week. Because after that, it'll be getting very cold. That I'm very excited for. And we are off. Seems to be fair the irony of this whole situation. Stayed at a fantastic little, well, okay, I wouldn't say fantastic, I stayed at a decent hotel in Abu Dhabi, and now I'm at probably the worst hostel I've ever stayed at in my life. Um, here for four nights. So <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. I'll make it work. Like, it's definitely not bad enough to leave. Um, I don't know that there's gonna be plenty of it around, but it's just quite funny how it works out that way. So I'm just gonna, so it's just getting late, so I'm actually gonna really, really wanna go have a quick look at the Khalifa. Then we'll go from there. Oh. This is definitely one of the places I've been keen to see for a long time. Don't know how well it's gonna be at night, but I have to do it. Quick stop at the Dubai Mall. It's huge! <laughs> That's a little bit weird to me. Again, my night videos are terrible, but that is it. Uh, basically looking directly straight up. That's crazy. So I'm going to climb up that. Not tomorrow or the day after that. I'll be going there on the 12th. Ooh. Oh, I've got to have come have a look in during the day as well. This is so cool. Got my mix for the day. So I have to enter it from that side over there. For when I do go, you can only enter from the mall, as I just learned. Can't enter through here because it's a hotel. Not really surprised about that, to be honest. But I'm mainly just going for a wander around, that's what I told the guy. Now I'll just go back into the mall. I think I'll probably turn in. I need some water. I had something to eat already, so I'm just gonna go turn back in for the day, head back. <laughs> so I'm really down on my luck these last few days. Um, so this hostel that I'm staying at is basically a homeless shelter. Like I stayed there one, I um, was there all last night, didn't sleep. There was four people that came in and they're just sleeping on the ground there. It's seriously just a money-making opportunity for these people, so I am not staying there. I cannot stay there for nights. It was very uncomfortable. So I'm currently at 7 a.m. in the process of transporting my stuff over to a new hotel where I can finally get some rest. <laughs> uh, it's all part of the fun. It's the challenge. It's going to be interesting when I leave, see if the guy says anything. I'll try and do it without any trouble. Cool. So, made it to my new place. It's nice. I think I've put them through a bit of a ringer to start with. Uh, they had to take me to three separate rooms. It's like, it's very early, so I don't blame them. And then some of the doors weren't working. And, oh, but the guy, guy at reception was incredibly helpful. It was incredibly nice. So, it's done good. It's done good. I'm here now. I'm going to sort myself out for a bit. Seems to be a recurring theme this is the past few days. Um, but now, time to go and get out a bit. Check out what the wonders that Dubai has to offer. Keen, excited, I've got a few options, a few things I want to do today. So it is actually 1.30 in the afternoon, so I'm getting to the point where it's past the hottest part. It's cooling down now, so hopefully it'll keep me nice and calm for the rest of the day. So, it's very distant out of the city, it's the um, Miracle Garden, so I'm going to go make my way in and 
supposed to be like an extreme version of Florida oh yeah, back home. Extreme version, <laughs> very much so. of Glasgow. <laughs> Anna. I love how they've grown the flowers in, in certain patterns to create that peacock tail. That's amazing. And oh my god, it's an elephant. <laughs> No, I love the elephant. And there's another one. Oh, this place even has a smurf zone. Look, there's more. <laughs> oh god, this place is cute. And now we've got the homes of the smurfs. Best thing ever. They're penguins. <laughs> oh, God, I the and the obligatory plane covered in flowers. That's pretty cool, though. Definitely a very cool picture zone. Um, in here about 45 minutes. Okay. Pretty much gone through everything you can there is to see. I think it's pretty cool. We've got something similar like this back home. So they only hold it once a year. And it's definitely nowhere there like this. This is so much better. It's worth the visit. Strangely empty part of the train station. I'm going over to have a quick look at the world's only seven official seven star hotel. Um, one of my friends back home was very curious. So I figured I'd just go and have a quick look, send a few photos, see if I can sneak in. I suspect not, but it was a promise, so I'll give it a shot. Okay, so there is the world's only official seven star hotel. Only costs about 5,000 Australian a night. As tempting as it would be, I think that it, uh, I think that five thousand could probably be spent somewhere a little bit better. Certainly can make that last a lot longer than one night. But goddamn, that would be cool. There you go. So that's about as close as I'm going to get, as expected for a five thousand dollar a night place. Plenty of security. Um, it's definitely worth checking out what the inside looks like because it is very cool, albeit. Ridiculously expensive and over the top. Now it's nice and warm. It's going to be about an hour and a half before I get back to the hotel. So I'll get back there, and I think the cold shower to get with all this would be fantastic.